Thank you very much. Our guest of honor, Honorable uh, Fred uh, Kazumbo, the executive director for CSA, Comrade Lakembewe, Dr. Inok Nyorekwa Tinobulo from the uh, Sustainable Development Goals Center for Africa and your team, colleagues from the civil society, our brothers and sisters from government, department, ministries and agencies, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press. We would like to start our program having our guest of honor, Amid Isas. To commence the program as a God-fearing nation, may I request Comrade Mike Banda to grace this occasion with a prayer. Mike Banda. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we humbly come before your throne of grace and mercy this morning with our hearts full of thanksgiving and exhortation unto you, knowing that you are the good, loving, and caring God who knows what to give and when to give. At, a, at an, a moment like this, you've gathered us together in this very room, members of civil society organizations from within the Sadiq Legion, government officials, the registrar and members of the place. We are gathered under the banner of Southern Africa Development Community, SADC, a region that is endured with lots of resources, God-given resources, but characterized by poverty and conflict. We thank you, we bless you, mighty God, that our meeting here will come together, connect ideas, strengthen capacity, and also come up with innovations and solutions that will help our region prosper. We pray for all the facilitators, all the panelists, and all the moderators that are going to spearhead this discussion today and tomorrow. We pray that you will dwell in our midst and provide with us the much needed knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so that at the end of the day, we will count gains of the time we have spent here. For we have prayed and believed through Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Mike. Our guests of honor, all delegates present, before we delve into the opening remarks or speeches, I would like to indulge ourselves to give ourselves self-introductions so that our guests of honor and everyone else around appreciates who is here. So I would ask us to do self-introductions. I'll start myself. Um, Robert James Mkwezalamba, um, the board chair for Human Rights Conservative Committee, but also Integrity Platform, and several other organizations, Malawi Civil Society-led Black Economic Empowerment Movement, um, Social Protection Network, which uh, is a national network for social protection created by CSOs, and so many other things. But today, and part of tomorrow, I will be the moderator for this session. So uh, I will be introducing myself as we go on because maybe I've left so many portfolios behind. <laughs> Otherwise, it's an honor that uh, I have to lead the session and to be part and parcel of the discussion this morning. We'll start from my brother on the right. Introduce yourself, your organization, and 
uh, if you feel like speaking about expectations for this session, we we'll also appreciate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my name is Simon Lukere. I'm here representing uh, OSF, Outreach Card Foundation, uh, the organization that uh, do coordinate uh, social protection uh, network for the civil society. Uh, thank you. So, as, as we are saying, we are just coming from a holiday. We need to be seen to be energetic. So when somebody uh, introduces themselves, let's appreciate them by clapping hands. It's not a mean achievement to be here. So uh, we forgive for uh, Amon, but for the rest, let's appreciate them by clapping hands. Thank you. I am Gift Njewa, representing Grassroots Movement for Health and Development. Thank you. My name is Hesting Saga. I coordinate Malawi SR Challenge, of which CSA is a member of the same. My expectation is that um, I will actually have an opportunity to interact with the local partners here and also our colleagues in the, in the public sector as far as uh, regional integration is concerned. Thank you very much. Good morning. I am Buxton Nkoma representing Citizen Alliance, as well as the National Advocacy Platform. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Alice Candiado, representing Women's Legal Resources Center. Thank you. Let's come this side. Good morning. My name is Angela Mwambungu, representing Global Hope Mobilization. Uh, in terms of the expectations, I just want to learn how this meeting is building on the last meeting that we had, the similar one here. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Chimwemwe Sakunda Ziovu. I work with uh, Catholic Development Commission, which is uh, CADECO, but I'm also representing the Episcopal Conference of Malawi. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Madali Tsonjolo Mole from my Congress of Trade Unions, MCTU. Thank you. Good morning, um, precious Piri, Youth Initiative for Change and Development. My expectation is that we are going to have strong collaboration and synergies at the end of the day. Uh, good morning, I'm Mike Mervin Banda, working with uh, Malawi Economic Justice Network, Medjin. At the SADC level, I sit at the Regional Coordinating Committee for the Southern Africa People's Solidarity Network, SAPSIN, and I'm also the country focal point. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Chime Mwezindondo Mkova. I'm representing We Empower 265. Um, my name is Giboz Mpanze. I work with Africa Windmill Project, but I'm also the chairperson for the Longwe Civil Society Network. Thank you. My name is Rose Sobe. I'm, re I'm representing Maxwell Inclusive Development for All. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Gomezian Nguira. I'm the project officer for SADC Parliamentary Forum Project. I'm based at the Parliament of Malawi. Thank you. Uh, my name is Harold Ntengo, personal assistant to the first ever speaker of Parliament. Good morning. My name is Shani Mbewe representing Youth Project Excellence, YP. Thank you. 
Good morning. My name is Betha Piri. I'm the director for Malawi Economic Justice Network, Medjin. With Mike also, I'm a member in the regional coordinating committee that coordinates uh, civil society voice in the SADC. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm Pem Polemoni, representing Teachers Union of Malawi. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Linda Kajale, representing Group Ideas for Community Development, GCOD. Uh, good morning. I'm Victor Mhango, working with the Parliament of Malawi. Thank you. Uh, good morning. My name is Enoch Nyorekwa from the SDG Center for Africa, uh, which is based in Kigali and Zambia. Uh, may we ask those that are roving at the back to find one mic and be able to introduce yourselves if you can, starting with maybe the Secretariat. Just choose one mic for all of you to appear before it. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Maureen Chisenga from the SDG PS Center for Africa, Lusaka, Zambia. Good morning. My name is Grace Murray. I'm working with Center for Youth Empowerment and Civic Education, CSE. Uh, good morning. My name is Isabella Lotti. I'm working with Center for Youth Empowerment and Civic Education. Good morning, my name is Chimu Ebanata from Zodiac. Good morning, my name is Du Pimba from Zodiac. Uh, you don't want us to know you? Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is George Buliani from Mibawa Television. Okay, the rest would like to remain anonymous, so we respect your rights. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, bringing us together uh, from Malawi is the Center for Youth uh, Empowerment and Education, that's CSA, and uh, its executive director is none other than Comrade Lakembewe. Can you stand up and wave at us, please? Again, I noted my brother from SDGCA introduce himself, but I would also like you to uh, stand and wave at us is Dr. Enoch Twinobulio. I think he's the director or the coordinator uh, for the uh, program. Our guest of honor this morning is none other than the deputy speaker of the National Assembly, Right Honorable uh, Fred Kazombo. morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. We feel great honor to have you amid us. Uh, shortly, I will be calling on speakers to address us, but before I do that, just some housekeeping rules. Uh, we are privileged to have a free Wi-Fi. Uh, it's free because you are not paying anything, but the hotel will be paying on our behalf. So the Details are on the far left. If you are logging into the website, the logging username is uh, Easter. Obviously, coming from Easter holiday, we don't know, but you use the word Easter. Then the password is Malawi, uh, simply because we are here in Malawi. So if you would want to re relieve yourself from the stress of buying new data for today and tomorrow, you can switch off your data and uh, utilize this opportunity that we have. 
uh, secondary, our restrooms are just after the second door. You turn to the right for the gents and left for the ladies. And then I was asked to read out this note uh, by the hotel or from the hotel which says, please be advised that breakaway subgroups are not permitted in the restaurant, lounge areas or on the terrace unless pre-arranged with a manager for a monetary fee. Uh, so don't just assemble for the sake of assembling. You'll be charged, you'll be asked to pay. Uh, furthermore, we ask that refreshments are consumed only around the areas in which they are served. So if it's just out here, let's make sure we consume them around those areas. Space permitting breakaway groups are free to convene at the pool side. We have a beautiful pool that side, which has been going under maintenance, but we are being asked to utilize it, but uh, we need to notify the hotel. Otherwise, they are thanking us for making it to this place. Thank you very much. Uh, proceeding with the program, as indicated, the presence of all of us has been made possible with the partnership between the Sustainable Development Goals Center for Africa, SDGCA, and uh, the consumer unit, these are abbreviations that need to be spelled as they are, consumer unity and the trust society, that's CATS, when you see some documents that are say, shared with you, there is that title, CATS International, but uh, uh, it refers to consumer unity and trust society. And then locally, we are being hosted and coordinated by the uh, Center for Youth Empowerment and Civic Education, uh, that's CSN. The initiative is coming under the intention to build uh, sustainable uh, organizations through capacitation of civil society networks. And it is under a project that is entitled Engagement for Results capacitating regional civil society organization. This is part of the integrated institutional capacity building for the SADC Secretariat and national stakeholders in partnership uh, with its stakeholders in achieving regional commitments, particularly the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan, that's RISDIP 2020 to 2030, as well as the SADC Vision uh, 2020. Uh, on your desks, there, is, there are two documents that have been given which speaks to uh, uh, these instruments. More importantly, there is the SADIC Vision 2050 and the RISDIP 2020 2030, which have been summarized. The aspirations that the African, the SADIC region seeks to achieve uh, between now and the year 2050, and they domestically have been mainstreamed in our vision 2060 that we have been uh, preparing as a nation. Speaking about uh, regional integration, this has been the aspiration of Southern African Development Co Co Cooperation countries to come up together and develop strategies that seeks to promote the growth that is needed for the people of Asadik. A number of instruments have been adopted, and one of which has been that of regional economic integration that was adopted in the year uh, 1980, but then came to uh, its fruition in 1999. A number of documents have been developed to support the implementation of the regional integration and these include the Regional Indicative Strategic Development uh, Plan that I just spoke to, as well as the Strategic Indicative Plan for the Organ of Defense and Security, SADIC Regional Infrastructure Master Plan, SADIC Industrialization Strategy, among so many other numerous instruments that have been uh, developed. For Malawi, what we seek to do, we do appreciate that the uh, SADIC Research and Documentation Center has produced a report which is classified or titled SADIC 40 Years. Uh, that has summarized the benefits and growth that the region has registered over the period, 
the challenges that the region has faced, opportunities that still exist uh, for the region. And then they are looking at the way forward. And one strategic pillar is that of building and enhancing the capacity of CSOs. This is why these organizations with the support of European Union agreed to embark on a 16 on a 16 month project to s ensure that stakeholders in particular civil society in the region have a broad capacity through understanding what uh, regional integration is all about, what these instruments seek to achieve, the regional integrative development strategy plans and the, the master plans. So we are gathered today as a means of sharing knowledge and raising awareness on what the African instruments are, how they have impacted on our lives, an assessment of how CSOs have participated in the process, and ensuring that we play the game that is required of us as CSOs to ensure that our governments are sticking to the agreed principles and plans. So we have to ourselves a program that has been drawn for two days and needless to say that whatever we are doing is being beamed live. Uh, other partners and participants are attending virtually. But the intention is to be here for two days. And I would like to draw your attention to the program that has been circulated. Shortly, we'll have the official opening with our guest of honor and two key speakers. Then thereafter, we shall have a session to look at an overview of Sadiq Rizdip and the Vision 50, as well as its relevance to us as non-state actors or civil society. Then the Minister of Foreign Affairs has been asked to make a presentation on our role, the non-state actor mechanism establishment. Thus, what challenges do we have as a nation to ensure that we participate as non-state act actors. So what are the challenges that the government is facing and that will be presented by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thereafter, we shall have a panel discussion which seeks to address issues to do with non-state actors participation in SADIC processes that we're looking at the CSO perspective. So there are some few areas or questions of consideration before we break for lunch. And in the afternoon, we seek to share lessons on non-state actors' engagement in static processes. And then plenary, and we shall end the session today with some group work, creating an advocacy forum for the non-state actors at national level for equitable participation dialogues and decision making on static processes. So we we'll also be requested uh, and asked to participate in that session because we would want to be proactive and be part and parcel of the process through this national structure that we seek to establish. Tomorrow's program will discuss tomorrow in case there could be some changes. But for now, I simply wanted to uh, welcome you and make you feel comfortable as well as uh, uh, share with you our expectations for the day. So we also appreciate those that were able to raise their expectations. We have a secretariat that is taking notes of the key issues that are being discussed here. So anything you feel is relevant should be raised at this point in time. To proceed with the program at this point in time, may I invite the executive director for CSA, uh, Mr. Lakimbewe, to officially welcome us and then request our SDGCA comrade to also address the session before we can ask our guests of honor to officially open the session. Comrade Lakimbewe. Uh, thank you, our moderator, Mr. Mkwezalamba, comrade, our seasoned advocate in, in almost all uh, the relevant uh, aspects of governance. You find him in the health sector, you find him in the labor sector, uh, you name it. We're glad to have you with us at short notice, of course, 
to partake of the moderation of this very important uh, CSO engagement. Our guest of honor, welcome. Uh, it's been a pleasure that you, you can, at your busy schedules, afford to come and be with us. Of course, representing the Speaker of the National Assembly. He has just been conferring with me that he, he just arrived today morning, around 2 a.m., 3 a.m., from other business schedules elsewhere. He was in Mangochi. And apparently, uh, although I have not sought your permission to disclose, but you know it's the holiday uh, of Eid Mubarak, uh, in which case a day which is a very, very great day for him and his family. In other words, he should have been at home now, celebrating 19th century uh, in marriage. Can we clap hands for him? <laughs> the point I'm driving home, our guest of honor, is that it's a symbol of commitment towards national development, in which case you would have decided to say, I'm sorry, I'm tied up. It's a big day that I should be with my family. But accepting to join us um, simply entails that we have young, committed captains that are geared to rise up and uh, drive the agenda for national development, we don't take that for granted. Our distinguished participants, again, you could have also similarly accepted to excuse yourself to say, no, I want to go and harvest maize and all those things, soya and others. It's an opportunity for a holiday. But you have decided to uh, um, accept this invitation to be with us. We really appreciate for that. As the moderator has already alluded to, this is a second phase of our meeting. We had our initial training last year in October uh, at this same venue when we were introducing this particular uh, program. Let me take this opportunity also to welcome to Malawi our colleagues uh, from CADS, uh, from Sadix C Africa for being with us this morning. Like the moderator has already said, this is a program that is happening in Malawi, coordinated by Center for Youth Empowerment and Civic Education, CSA. It's happening also in Zimbabwe, in Zambia, and in Tanzania. Our guest of honor, we have been a member of SADC as a country for quite a long time. In between civil society, has been also partaking of the developments uh, in SADC. But uh, very little has uh, been registered in terms of uh, the participation of uh, many of us as uh, stakeholders in complementing government's efforts driving the SADC agenda among other regional development processes, but also national, uh, 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 international agendas. Malawi is partaking of the implementation of the Agenda 2063. For us to be there, the starting point is our national, regional, and the uh, global development processes. For example, the Malawi Growth and Development Strategy, the um, Sustainable Development Goals, and here, the SADC uh, development processes. The CATS International thought it wise to create space for civil society to participate in this high-level development process. Hence, the coming in of this particular program, which is aimed at capacitating national civil society organizations for them uh, and their networks to seize the space that is there and contribute towards uh, a SADC that is friendly to all of us, including the civil society, the media, and all those that matter in as far as the national development is concerned. I wish to inform you that the two days workshop, 
who aim at stock taking in terms of what is it that the civil society have so far done in supporting the government in driving the SADC agenda. It's not long time ago when we handed power to our colleagues. But then, what is it that we have contributed to help our head of state in advancing the SADC that is desirable for the ordinary citizens that we represent? When we look at the health sector, the security, the labor sector, and of course, as a youth NGO, the youth development sector. There are quite a lot that uh, still remains hanging. But then we can actually able to participate if our capacity is built, our understanding is enhanced, so much so that we are able to contribute positively in that regard. After the two days training, our guest of honor, there shall be a training earmarked for the media again in understanding the role that the media plays in sensitizing the communities out there but also helping us holding us to account in terms of uh, the checks and balances with regards to what is it that we are doing i'm happy to welcome you all to the two days workshop but of course also to the training workshop for the media that is happening on 26th. I wish to call upon all of you to share us what is it that matter that can help to drive the agenda in as far as a, a sadic friendly to CSOs, a sadic friendly to the media. Many thanks to our colleagues from sadic who have ably supported this program, the 17 months project, and we look forward to a continued collaboration. May I also take this opportunity to welcome you to your second home in Malawi, Dr. Enoch and your team. Feel free. I'm sure by now you are able to connect with the team that you um, uh, uh, supported with the capacity building during the last training that he was conducted here last year. It's not my show. Let me hand over to our, our uh, moderator to continue with the, uh, the program. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, uh, Comrade Lake Mbewe, uh, for the welcome remarks. We do appreciate and I think uh, it's a fact that uh, we can only participate if we are uh, made aware or if our capacity has been built. Uh, also on behalf of the media, I would like to thank the project for offering them an opportunity to also go through a, an intensive training to appreciate uh, what uh, uh, regional integration has done to SADC. Uh, most often we always appreciate what's happening in other regions in the continent as well as in Europe, Asia, and America, but we fail to highlight key developments that are taking place within the region. So that is commendable, and we do appreciate that you have extended uh, uh, that training to our colleagues, because as CSOs with them, then we are going to uh, build a strong bond, and we'll put our guest of honor and his team on the run. Thank you very much for the welcome remarks. Let's give him another round of, of applause. Allow me now to invite Dr. Enoch Twinobulio to also echo in uh, his views from the SDGCA uh, Secretariat as you come to, to the front. And indeed, as the Comrade Lucky has put it, if you welcome, Tagula uh, Ndirani, if you want a plot, you can discuss with the case of honor so that you settle here for good. Yeah, Zikomo, Zikomo. Um, our guest of honor, uh, the Deputy Speaker of uh, Parliament here in Malawi, uh, we're pleased to have you uh, with us, especially on a, a public holiday. Um, our distinguished uh, participants uh, and panelists who are with us today, 
uh, we are happy to have you with us, uh, particularly on short notice, but also on a, on a public holiday. And to our Muslims, happy uh, Mubarak. Happy Eid Mubarak. Um, I, I come to you from uh, the Sustainable Development Goal Center uh, for Africa, uh, which is based in uh, Kigali, uh, with also regional offices in Zambia. Uh, just a bit of background, the Sustainable Development uh, Goal Center was conceived at the UN General Assembly uh, in 2015, September, uh, when the Sustainable Development Goals uh, were being adopted. As you might recall, in September uh, 2015, 193 member states of the UN agreed to 17 Sustainable Development Goals, uh, and as most of you would know, uh, these are to be attained by 2030. The aim of uh, the Sustainable Development Goals uh, is to ensure that we have economic prosperity within uh, planetary boundaries uh, that leave no one behind. Uh, the leave no one behind concept I also see is very deeply enshrined within uh, the Malawi Agenda 2063. As you might also know, um, the, the Sustainable Development Goals are underpinned by five pillars, commonly known as five Ps. Uh, the five Ps are people at the root of it. Uh, we have prosperity of the people. We have planet. Uh, we do also have um, uh, partnerships as well as peace. And when you speak of peace and you think of the SADC vision, it is also uh, deeply reflected within the, the, the SADC vision. Um, the, as, but also you would notice that the Sustainable Development Goals, while they are global goals, at the continent level we have what we call the African Union Agenda 2063, uh, which is more or less uh, uh, a guiding, a blueprint for uh, implementation of our uh, continental agenda. And the two uh, agendas for some of the work we've done at the center, we see that there are strong synergies. If anything, uh, all the 17 sustainable development goals are embedded within the 20 goals of the African Union. Um, so the <clears throat> implementation of this, I did mention the five pillars, embedded partnership, but also partnership is uh, one of the goals, one of the 17 goals. Uh, who of you would probably tell me which goal is it is for partnership within the Sustainable Development Goals? Anyone would want to attempt? Which goal is sustainable, uh, the partnership? Okay, that's goal 17. Uh, goal 17 uh, is a uh, partnership which is aimed at uh, revitalizing global partnerships for sustainable development. As you know, the 2030 agenda is universal and calls for actions by all countries, developed or underdeveloped, to ensure that no one is left behind. It requires partnerships between governments, the private sector, and civil society. Uh, through partnership, <clears throat> the Sustainable Development Goal Center, uh, together with CATS International, which is based in Zambia, uh, and uh, the country partners. Uh, in Malawi, we do have uh, CHESE as our partners in implementing uh, a SADC project, uh, which is titled The Engagement for Results, capacitating civil societies uh, towards the delivery of uh, the SADC Vision 2050. This project is a part of the broader SADC projects, which are aimed at uh, integrated institutional capacity building, for the SADC Secretariat, but also national stakeholders in partnership with uh, uh, the other regional stakeholders aimed at um, achieving the regional commitments, which uh, regional commitments are also reflected within uh, the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan uh, of SADC, which is 2020-2030. It is often said that if you're not on the table, you're on the menu. And we believe that this workshop is ensuring that we are on the table to decipher the menu, which menu is the SADC uh, vision and what it means for all of us and what role we have 
uh, to play as different stakeholders. I'm also happy to note that last year at the Council of uh, Ministers uh, in Kinshasa, uh, a former um, uh, non-state actor uh, engagement mechanism was approved. And this is expected to be implemented uh, at national level. And I believe maybe the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, will be able to tell us uh, to what extent uh, we've gone uh, in Malawi. But I am also happy to note that Malawi is one of the few countries, uh, one of those that have a functional or visible uh, SADC national committees. Uh, so um, in other countries, we see that they are not yet, they are in the process of, of having them uh, in place. So I commend Malawi uh, and the government of Malawi uh, for that approach. As I get close to the end, I must also remind you of the, <clears throat> the values that would really underpin uh, the operation of these engagement mechanisms. One of them is that uh, there should be regional harmonization, there should be common interpretation, and that's why discussing the vision and understanding of it uh, will help us to have a common understanding and interpretation of the treaty by each member state. There should be variable geometry that you customize the vision uh, towards uh, your own national priorities, and I think that's what the Agenda uh, 2063 for Malawi uh, uh, has done. Uh, there should be additionality that the programs we implement should actually add value uh, and uh, enhance both delivery of the SADC objectives as well as the national objective. Uh, there should be uh, subsidiarity that the projects are implemented at the levels they can best deliver results. Uh, there should be more stakeholder responsibility and coordination and this is one of the elements uh, that this workshop aims to. And then there should be uh, practical application of, of, of the treaty prescripts. And uh, at last, uh, there should be transparency. Uh, and uh, I think with the, those elements, uh, if we embrace those, uh, we should uh, make headway towards uh, delivery of the, of the SADC vision. Uh, <clears throat> I believe uh, with a strong voice together, which I think we should have uh, by the end of this uh, conference, uh, we should have a strong voice uh, which is uh, underpinned by greater understanding or better understanding of, of SADC and, and our roles as, as key stakeholders. Uh, we've developed a training toolkit which we will share uh, uh, at the end of the conference, but that gives a synopsis of, of the key issues within SADC what we believe the roles are um, of, of, of different stakeholders. Uh, and as I finish, I think um, allow me to uh, wish you uh, fruitful uh, deliberations in this conference. And uh, we're happy to always uh, lucky as well uh, to be in Malawi. Malawi feels at home. Zikomo Kwambiri. Another round of applause for Dr. Enoch. Thank you very much for putting us into the agenda. You have unpacked so many issues that I think by the end of the session we we'll have mastered them. Key is to create that voice and we do appreciate. We already say thank you for the toolkit that you share with us and uh, I hope Lage will not uh, keep it away from us. You have said it publicly and every one of us, including our guests of honor, should be privileged to have uh, that uh, toolkit so that we can continue reflecting and uh, working on it so that we fully participate uh, in the process. So we sincerely thank you for those uh, words and uh, the vision that you have lightly shared, the appreciation of the role and steps that the Malawi government has taken we would want to do more so that we become a star performer within SADC. And that begins with our engagement here, our capacitation, so that uh, we remain that useful voice to our presidents in the region and that the region may grow. Thank you once again. Let's give him another round of applause.
before I invite the guest of honor to address us, I noted some distinguished leaders from the CSOs and the various departments and governments and agencies who have just walked in. Allow me honorably to ask them to introduce themselves. Some of them are my seniors. So you have a mic before you. May you introduce yourself so that the guests of honor can appreciate your presence, as well as our colleagues from SDGCA can also know who is in the house. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, guest of honor. And everybody, good morning. My name is Ronald Mtonga. I'm the CEO for Kongoma. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Emma Kalia. I'm the executive director for the Malawi Human Rights Resource Center. My name is Dominic Nyasulu from National Youth Network on Climate Change. Um, my name is John Kawai from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. That's all. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Enoch, I hope you appreciate the presence of the sectors that are here. You did mention the support from CATS to say we need to take stock of uh, uh, our gains in the area of health, our gains in the areas of uh, climate change or so many other sectors, health, education and the like. So you appreciate that uh, we are almost represented here. Uh, you have labor available and uh, uh, other sectors, including our colleague from Minister of Foreign Affairs. I think the last speaker just left a homework for you to say when government or Minister of Foreign Affairs comes, we need to appreciate how far they have gone with the uh, instrument that SADC has adopted on the engagement with non-state actors. I hope you'll be able to shed uh, progress on the same. Otherwise, I would like once again to thank you all for your uh, listening. At this juncture, may I humbly invite our guest of honor, Right Honorable uh, Kazombo, to address us. Honorable Kazombo, thank you. Once again, another good morning. It's always a pleasure to, to be am among those who, who make us run. But our running is always a good run. Amen. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lakambewe, the Executive Director for Center for Youth Empowerment and Civic Education. Uh, representatives of Sustainable Development Goals Center for Africa and the entire delegation. Uh, my brother, Dr. Enoch, uh, the surname is a bit uh, Lambia kind of. Trino Mbulio. Trino Bulio, the study project coordinator. Uh, welcome to Malawi. Representatives from the civil society organizations that are here, uh, the chairperson for Council for NGOs in Malawi the members of the press here present, distinguished participants, panelists, and the, indeed all the presenters, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a great pleasure that I preside over this timely and useful event aimed at fostering the state actor engagement in the SADC process in Malawi. I bring warm regards from the Speaker of the National Assembly, Right Honorable Catherine Gudanihara, who wished to have been here, but She's in, in Karonga. You've heard Karonga the good floods. So we did, you know, uh, made a swap. I went to Mangochi. She, she's uh, up north where our colleagues have been affected. So all the same, uh, she's saying enjoy the meeting. And uh, those that have just come from other parts of the continent, 
the message is don't go back home without visiting the lake. So Mr. Mkwezalamba and Mr. Mbewe, make sure our, our, our delegates, they, they visit Salima or Mangochi. At least they should have a chambo. Uh, as, as also a representative of the Malawi uh, Parliament, the National Assembly, on the SADC National Committee, SNS, which I'm happy to note that we are, that we are re established and launched by His Excellency, the President, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera. The State President launched the SNC on 1st April 2021. The SNC is a standing body of multiple stakeholders, uh, including the CSOs and the media, aimed at guiding implementation of SADC decisions and program at the national level. The legal basis for the establishment of the SNCs is derived from the Article 91H and Article 16A of the Declaration and Treaty of SADC as amended. Distinguished guests, I take this opportunity to remind you of where we have come from. On 1st April 1980, the Southern African Coordination Conference, SADC, a precursor of the Southern African Roman Community, SADC, was established with a focus of advancing the agenda of political freedom from our colonial powers in the Southern Africa. In 1992, SADC was transformed to become SADC. So the first SADC is the SADC, the other one is with a, a, a single C. And the treaty was uh, signed by Mozambique, Namibia, Angola, Botswana, Lesotho, Malawi, Swaziland, which is now called Swatidi, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Regional economic integration became the body's focus. Today, we are guided by the SADC Vision 2050 of a and an integrated SADC region. The SADC Vision is one of a common future that will ensure economic well-being, improvement of the standard of living and quality of life, freedom and social justice, and peace and security for the people of Southern Africa. It is implemented through the 10-year strategic plan. The current is the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan, RSDP 2020-2030, which is a blueprint of SADC's regional integration agenda. The process whereby the member states agree to integrate their markets, cooperate and work closely together to achieve peace, stability, and wealth. The objectives of the RSDP 2030 are fully consistent with the Malawi's Vision 2063, an inclusive, welfare, and self reliant nation. Therefore, implementation of the national priorities must integrate and domesticate the priorities of the SADC strategies, policies, and plans. Distinguished guys, Parliament, as already mentioned, is represented on the SADC's NCs, which one, provide input, <coughs> excuse me, at the national level in the formation of SADC policies, strategies, and programs of action. Two, coordinate and oversee at the national level the implementation of SADC's programs of action. And thirdly, initiate projects and issues, papers, as an input to the preparation of the regional indicative strategic development plan in accordance with the priority areas as set out in the static common agenda. Much stakeholder responsibility and coordination is one of the core values and principles that underpin the operation of NSCs. It is, it is when we come together that we can rely, I mean, we can, we can really make an impact. As such, we at Parliament must work hand in hand with the CSOs. We at the Parliament 
I repeat, we in Parliament, we must work hand in hand with the sources to educate our citizens of, of what entails regional integration so that when Parliament is moved to registrate, citizens have not difficulties in embracing the regional integration drive. Distinguished guests, Parliament is ready to continue supporting regional integration process as Malawi is also actively involved with the SADC Parliamentary Forum. The CSO capacity enhancement for SADC integration is always welcome and will be an input in enhancing the achievement of the sustainable development goals through regional integration process. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I want to commend the organizers for this important workshop, which is not only aimed at building the capacities of CSOs and the media towards the implementation of the regional integration agenda, but also is aimed at fostering increased understanding of SADC issues by the Malawi's citizens. I am reliably informed that after the two day of this national CSO workshop, there will be another workshop aimed at building the capacity 